Hello today and we're going to do a quick review on my EasyCap um, capture device. Um, here it is, that is the main capture device and take that off is your USB. Um, you might be thinking, oh where's the lead? Well, there isn't, well there is a lead, obviously you don't have to plug it straight into your um, computer just like that. Um, got a nice cap on there. It does come with this, gives you more of an extension lead with a USB, so that plugs into the device and that plugs into your computer. Um, I mean, it's not very long, um, I'd say it's about not even a metre, or I don't know, maybe about a metre. I don't know, but yeah, it comes with that. Also, comes with a, um, a mini CD. Um, and there was, I read on um, Amazon that they said this wasn't a, a normal standard CD. Um, if you look in your CD drive, you see there's the big where you put the big one, and inside you can put small CDs. So these do work in normal drives. I will show you in a minute when I've reviewed this. And instructions. Um, the only problems with the instructions, this is for a wireless camera receiver. Um, this ain't got nothing to do with, these instructions have got nothing to do with this device whatsoever. So, uh, probably a bit of a cock up at the factory. Um, this did come from China. Um, and I have tested it, it works. I've actually tested the software. It all works. But, what I'm going to do, I will give you a a liar, um, a test, so I will test it. Um, as I say, it did come from China and it did only cost just under just a little bit over six pounds for this. But you know, it's only going to capture, um, it's not going to be high definition or anything like that. It's basically just to capture like VHS or old um, computer systems um, and it. Well, we'll show you. I'll show you the software. Right, I've plugged the device in to the computer. Um, so what we've got connected up is the, um, the two audios, and this is the video. Um, you can have S-Video if you want, but I ain't got nothing that using S-Video. So what we're using temporarily is my camcorder. Um, yeah, I haven't used this camcorder for a long while because I don't really need it. Now I've got a phone, you don't, this really has become obsolete. Um, this is a widescreen camera, but I think this software only captures in full screen. I don't know if there's an option, because I've been through them, and there is no, I can't see any options that you can record this in widescreen. But a lot of old devices like VHSs and old computer systems were full screen anyway so really to me it's not a problem because I did not buy it for modern stuff anyway um, so yeah as you can see it's um, camera is capturing it capturing um, what on the screen oh it's just over there well it's on top of my um, keyboard at the moment now you can see my hard drive um, yeah so that's basically what it's seeing so it does work, but I've not tested it with a old device yet. But I just wanted to quickly test it. Um, so you can actually record what you see, um, so that it do does capture. So you can options, you can uh, set it. So you don't have to use it with this device. You can use it with a webcam or anything you want. Um, you can record it. DVD, S V C V C D S V C D DVD long DVD N N W V and power you can change your uh, region settings quality best and split size whatever that is so and you got setting DVD as uh, yeah you can basically got all settings if you wanna do it um, yeah, so I honestly, for the price, you pay for this little device, 
I think it's well worth it. As I say, it does come from China, so you have to at least wait about three weeks, something like that. And I did order it. Um, actually, I think it took a month to get here because I did order it about, it was last year, middle of last year. Not middle of last year, middle of December last year, rather. So, yep. I'm, I'm pretty pr pr pleased with it, I'm proud of it. And there's one thing I'm going to show you because, as I said, um, I saw a review on Amazon about a disc. Well, let's just unplug that. For some reason, the image is still there. <laughs> um, right, hang on. Right, this is the disc. It's a small disc, as I said. Right, if you open up your drawer, you can see the big ring round here, and in the middle, you see a groove. And that's where that goes, and that fits in there. Um, it's a standard on all all disk drives, modern disk drives, CDs, um, DVDs, and including Blu-rays. Even the Blu-ray can accommodate it. See what I mean? There's a little groove there. It ain't going nowhere, and it'll read the disc, no problems. And I've had a lot of these old little discs anyway, so it's not really a problem. Not even a problem. Right, so let's plug that back in. You do have to, in I'm using Windows 7, so you do have to install the drivers. Because um, I just plugged it in and it did not work, so you do have to have the drivers installed, which actually, which the drivers and that piece of software is on this disc. Um, so, hang on, what have I done? Right, so we close that, let's see if we can reopen it and see what happens. So this, this software is called VHS to DVD 3.0. So there it is, VHS to and why, there we go, is it going to come on? There we go, so we're back. So there you go, that's just capturing my camcorder at the moment. But as I said before, I don't know if it captures in widescreen, so that's something to bear in mind. But it definitely records in full screen, but it's made for, that's why it's called VHS to DVD, and VHS was mainly in um, full screen anyway. With because it's an old medium with a big with the full screen TVs so to me it's not a problem because I will be capturing like my old computers like the Commodore 64 with it that's why I bought it and that's full screen because it's old um, yeah that's it I'm pretty pleased with it um, yeah anyway I'm going to end this now thank you so much for watching till next time and goodbye